Man adopts a terminally ill 10 year old. What happens next is shocking. So how much time are you saying that I have left? About 12 months. Oh. Twelve months is almost a year. Hi. Hi. How can I help you? Um, I think I'll get a medium coffee with cream and sugar. I promise you, if I got twelve months to live, I'm not going to work. I think I'm, I might, I, I, it depends what type of mood I'm really in when I hear the news. I don't know if I'm going to be on some I'm loving and giving out uh, stuff type of mood or if I'm going to be on some heinous, heinous activity. It really depends. Would you like some hot cocoa, honey? With a cherry cookie. <laughs> and don't forget Barry. He's thirsty, too. <laughs> okay, of course. Can we get an extra cup for her, Teddy? Sure. So one medium coffee, two cocos, and extra cream. You got it. Man, if that bear don't pay for itself. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. <laughs> y'all, what do y'all think about Russians? Rock, paper, scissors. I feel like rock, paper, scissors, they actually shooting somebody if you lose. I mean, we already have Russian roulette. There has to be a show about that somewhere. There has to be a show about playing rock, paper, scissors, and if you actually lose, you die. And if there's not, I need to make one. Scissor. You need to get started on those drinks there, Matt. Oh, yeah. Hey, um... <clears throat> well, can I ask you something? Sure. As long as you can work and talk. Of course. Did you ever feel like... your life has no meaning? You know, um, you better talk to him sweet because he could he could go in and and visit a school. And we know when that ha what happens when that happens. So you better talk to him nice. I used to feel like that a lot. Till I became a dad and my life took on a whole other sense of purpose. Wait, so you're telling me you were sad. You had you felt like you had no purpose in life. And then you're like, you know what, F it, I'm going to become a dad. I feel like that's a bad thing to do. Because what if you have a child now and you still feel like you have no purpose? Well, let's fuck the kid. You know what I'm saying? That kid going to be depressed. Yeah, that's my boy. Is everything okay? I, um, I just came back from my doctor's appointment. Seems like, um, my time is going to be limited. My God. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. If there's anything that I can... I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Here, let me make these drinks for you. Okay. Thanks. I mean, I'd press him a little bit more. You don't know if he's lying or not. Like, how limited is your time? You know what I'm saying? He didn't give you no time for him. He could have said six years. I would have said, hey, toughen up, buddy. You got five more years to work. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Thank you, Ty Ty, for the, for the sub. Hey. Oh, you're home early. Yeah, the boss, uh... He let me leave early because uh, after he heard the news. That was nice of him. Yeah. <laughs> Natasha, can we talk? What's happening? What? What's happening? Um, well, I know that we've been going back and forth on whether or not we wanted to have kids for a, a while now. But I think that I know that's, that's what I want now. But you heard what the doctor said, you wouldn't be around. I know, I know. So you wanna leave me with the baby? And you can't even pay child support.
support at that point. This is a setup. You selfish bastard. Seeing the birth of my child, I just feel like that would make me a happier man before her. Like, oh, like, just, just knowing that I could leave an impact. Yes, you left an impact of depression on your child. In this world, you know, in some way, you know, with a, either a little boy or a girl, you know, just leave my legacy behind. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think it is either. I don't want to raise a child without a father. It's, it's, it's my only wish. This is the only thing that I want before I go. Matthew. That, that's easy to say, but... No, me... I'm... I'm really sorry, but I just can't. There's something else I need to talk to you about. My other suitcase is here. She booked it? Immediately? Immediately is insane! My nigga's been five hours! How did you get your stuff ready to go in, in, in a plane ticket in five hours? That's crazy. That's crazy. <clears throat> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Winnie, can I get you um, the usual? That'd be great, thanks. Okay. You think I'm still going to work, bro? <laughs> I promise you. I'm finding where my wife lives. My ex-wife, my bad. <laughs> and I'm, I'm burning the place down. <laughs> and there's a dog in there, I'm recording it. <laughs> and I'm DMing it to her. <laughs> her mom, her sister. Her brothers. <laughs> oh man. That's just me, though. That's just me. That's just me. You know, is everything okay? You seem... off? It's been one heck of a week. Um, can I talk to you? Hey, you got work to do, buddy. You know my wife, Natasha, right? She left. No. I said I wanted a kid, and... Instead of saying, yeah, she just packed her stuff and she just left. She's just gone. There's a, That's so awful. There's a little bit more to the story. I'm sorry. I can't believe she'd do that to you. It's complicated. It's complicated. Well, hey, you know, I'm sure you'll find someone great. Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of time, you know, start all over again. And then it's like, that's the one thing that I don't have right now is time. I just want to be a dad. What? For three months. There's always adoption. That's what I did. There's this great place nearby. Wait, 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 wait. So he's going to adopt a, a, a terminally ill 10 year old and they're going to die together? Is that the plot? They just die? <laughs> no, Darman, if you make that the case, bro, I, I appreciate you going. You're, you're breaking the PG barrier. That means, if this is the case, that means you're gonna have people killing each other in your video soon. Oh, I'm excited for the evolution, Dar! I'm excited! Um, here. That's their info. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry for, you know, bringing the mood down and everything like that. It's just been a rough couple of days. I just thought my life would be a lot different, you know? Darman, I swear you have them where it's like, oh my God, they miraculously survived. I'm gonna be pressed. I I am truly gonna be pressed, bro. You have to kill them off. I'm sorry, but you set it up. You have to. Like I could make a difference. It's just not panning out the way that I envisioned it. Well, as one person, you may not be able to change the world. Hey, it's like the that Hitler. Doesn't mean you he changed the world all right. 
My bad. My bad. Osama did too, but I'm I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it there. They they as one person they they did a lot. Not in a good way, but they they sure did change some ish. You can't change the world for one person. Can we hurry it up? I, I knew he was gonna say something. To Look at him. I knew it. Be sure. One moment. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't come back here. Oh, I work here now. Uh, Kayla, why don't you help this gentleman? Thank you. Matt, can I talk to you for a second? Fire. What's going on? You're fired. I hate to do this to you, but I have to let you go. Why? Why? This is supposed to be a happy place where people can come and forget about their problems. They don't want to hear about other people's problems. I'm sorry, but I, I have to think about our future here, too. Mm. Well, what am I supposed to do? Uh, uh, don't worry. Go somewhere and die. That's what that's what he's saying. Just go somewhere and die. I'll make sure that you get a big severance just to hold you over. Don't smile at me, buddy. Fired, lost. My, I, I so I, uh, I got fired. My wife left me. I was told I have twelve months to live. My nigga, I might as well make it twelve more hours to live at this point. Like, Matthew. Hi, Gina. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, we reviewed your paperwork and everything looks great. But I did notice that you left this blank. I'm assuming you don't have a terminal illness, so if you could check this box right here, we will be um, on. That's not necessarily true. Oh, I'm so sorry. But unfortunately, that means that you can't adopt. No, please don't. I, what do you, you know how much this means to me? Quite frankly, it's unfair to the child. It is. It's against our agency's policy. I wish there was more I could do. Yeah, buddy, you're screwed. He's gonna be like, here, here's what we can do, right? You want a child so badly? Let's kill you with the child. That's fair. Yep. Double homicide. Yep. What about her? Oh, that's Tara. Unfortunately, we just found out that she's sick. The doctors say that she only has another three months. She's going to be going to the hospital soon, so. Hey, I got 12. Her. No, let me adopt her. I can take care of her better than any doctor will. I don't think that. It... No, Gina, you don't understand. I know what she's going through. She can relate to me. Plus, I mean, it's like I have 12 months. She has three. I can be there for her. Mm. Gina, do you really want to see a little girl spend the last few months of her life in a hospital? I mean, the, the guy at your job doesn't want to fire someone who only has 12 months to live, but he already did it. So, I mean, hey, it, it just seems like life is pooping on you, buddy. They pooping on you. Let me go talk to her. Thank you. Thank you. Let me translate what she's saying. That man over there is about to die too. Do you want to die together with a buddy? Uh -huh. With a parent? Uh -huh. If you do, hey, I mean, he can adopt you. Like, you're not slick. I'm a, I'm a lip reader. He's like, I do want to die with a friend. All right, this is it. So, uh, what do you think? It's nice. Well, I'm glad you like it. Uh, so what do you want to do today? We can do whatever you want. Do I have to call you dad? 
You can call me Matt, Dad, Pal, whatever. Are you hungry? I can go make you something to eat. <sighs> hey. Look, I know what you're going through is really, really hard. And it's super unfair. It is. But I'm in the same boat as you. Now either we could be super sad about it or we can make the best of it. I say. I say y'all should raid Area 51. What do you say? Um, I have chocolate chip pancakes. <laughs> you can get whatever you want. Let's go. Okay. And I have chocolate chip pancakes. So why is this strawberry? I mean, blueberries. <laughs> Nigga said that's unhealthy, damn. His wife really dipped in not saying a word, didn't give him no type of like, no type of nothing. She really dipped in six hours. How did, like, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to rip like, y'all married. How did you leave so fast? No, goodbye hug or kiss or nothing too. She just dipped. I'm blown. Search for something beyond the Happened. He's burning up. It's about her time. She looks terrible. You all right? I'm just not. Look at me now, buddy. You know the answer to that question. really hungry okay do you wanna wanna go lay down <laughs> Har! Har! Har, it's gonna be all right okay i'm gonna take you to the hospital you're gonna be fine how many months has it been what's the time frame is she okay does she need to stay overnight? Yeah, you might want to sit down. She's staying more than just overnight. I'm so sorry. This can't be happening. She died just right in front of him I like that. I wish it weren't true, but we all knew this was coming. Yeah, I love that girl. I just feel like my heart, my heart is just being ripped out of my chest for the third time in three months. She knew you loved her and you were there for her. You you did a great thing. <laughs> Wait, so what happens now? I thought that uh, if I adopted a child that I would have some purpose. You have purpose. You served a very <laughs> valuable purpose. No, I feel worse. What the hell happens? We have four more minutes left. Well, three. But <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. Darman has like one of the first deaths I've seen in like a Darman video. We're gonna help you with your grief. Oh, thank you, sir. This guy must this be hers. This guy is good at acting. She probably he probably was rejected from Hollywood or something. 
Yes. Wow. Wow. It's gonna be okay. You did good. What happens now? I don't understand. Where do we go from here? What do you do for the next nine months? Right now, I'd probably become a politician. Politicking for uh, more funding for the... Oh no, bro. It's a heart wrencher. It's a heart wrencher. Oh no. Oh, it's a heart wrencher. Dear Matt, if you're reading this, it means my time is up. Please, Please don't, don't be, be sad. sad. You see, when the doctor told me everything, the hardest part wasn't finding out I was going to die. The hardest part was being all alone. I just wanted someone I could talk to. Someone that would love me. But as soon as they found out... <gasps> no, that's crazy. No, look at the dismissal. Look at the dismissal, bro. Love no, no. She poked her bottom whip out too. Like, mm mm. Not that one. Mm mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But as soon as they found out. That is disgusting. They went the other way. Over time, I gave up hope. Until you came along. Thank you for taking me in these past few months. They have meant the world to me. To be loved by someone. This was still very unhealthy, by the way. It just, it just wasn't, it wasn't good for the human body. That is all I ever wanted. I'm sorry, sorry you couldn't have, have kids on your, on your own. But I'm, I'm so, happy. so happy that you adopted me. Because you're the best parent any kid could ever ask for. You changed my life. And I'll always be grateful for that. I love, I love you, Dad. Dad. Your daughter, Tara. Darman been in his bag recently, bro. <laughs> He's been in his bag, bro. I'm not going to lie. No happy ending? Nah, he... See, Darman realized he has too many happy endings. Now he now he really he really in his script, script writing bag. He trying to do all types of ish. 